today i am going to teach you the need of measurement first of all we should know the what do you mean by a measurement a measurement is the physical quantity which we are going to measure like there can be physical quantity any mechanical things or maybe electrical side of it when i am saying electrical sides they can be further divided into the three categories number 1 you can have that weight mass electrical we are having broadly speaking a voltage and an electrical current that is i that is v here we have a mass m and weight is m into g now question starts that when we are going for these physical quantities the measurement part which is a most important daily to daily life like if i will give you the one example of it if we are going to purchase in a daily basis a milk so we will go and purchase a milk and we went to that uh, shop and we are asked for a milk so there written is a i need 1.5 ml or liter so they give us a three packet of 500 ml so this ml is a measurement of a liquid which is milk so importance of measurement is that whenever we are taking any quantity either broadly physical or either classify into the mechanical or electrical in which way they are being measured in which unit they are being measured right so measurement specifies on that values so here we are having weight weight is measured in the kg this measure in mass is measurement in the grams and this is measured in the voltage and this is measured in the ampere right so these are the things we are going to measure it and we are having this for measuring this this we are having this standards these standards are primary the second one is secondary and third one is tertiary primary secondary and tertiary these are the reference standards which we are having isi standards are there for indian international and international this isa is international standard for american codes so there is a reference is there which needs to measure these quantities that is called a primary standard secondary standard are being used with the comparison with the references references likewise if i want to have a sugar of 1 kilo then it would be what this will be measured 1 kilo with the standard weight and these standard weights are called as a secondary and tertiary is the combination of both primary and secondary now we will move towards the another portion that is our block diagram of any measurement system first of all the block diagram measurement system tells us that how these things these particular blocks are connected in tandem to measure the physical quantity i have the input input is my physical quantity physical quantity that can be any which we have already discussed and it is being sensed by sensor this sensor give the signal to my transducer which converts this physical quantity into the analogous electrical quantity when i am saying analogous electrical it is having the one one correspondence of this physical quantity and giving me the 
parameter in electrical side of it. Then there will be a manipulation manipulation variable which variable which this block is varying that particular quantity into the any change of the values that is can be modified into the application either I can use their amplifier I have a modulators in case of the frequency likewise we are using any electrical circuitries here in this block when we are talking about this block this block would be our data presentation and and conversion when I am saying conversion that means my physical quantity can be varying into the any type of length capacity power any signal which can be manipulated and then we are transmitting into the display unit display unit can be my VDU VDU stand for video display unit so this as a whole is my block diagram of measurement so let us we are having an example of example of what example of any physical system physical system which is combination of pressure and our output should be in the motion form so this is my example example would be this I have a C type burden tube C type burden tube in combination with LVDT LVDT stands for you all know linear voltage differential transformer fine so this is the combination this example and by this example we will correlate this particular block diagram how this will be relating fine so first of all I have a C type burden tube C type burden tube is just like this I have a C type burden tube here I have a pressure which is going inside here I have a lever arm I have a manipulating variables I have this variables and this is being linked with my pointer which is deflecting values and here I have the combination so now physical parameter is my pressure linkages and lever system is there and their display unit so how we will go for the previous section which I have discussed this thing that is in a physical parameter here physical parameter my pressure sensor is my C type burden tube this is my C type C type burden tube right this is being measured pressure is applied to this particular pipe and pressure we know that force per unit area so when pressure is going here it will be going to this particular portion fine so here what will be happening we are having a primary transistor primary thing which is being manipulated manipulated is here we are having a physical quantity that is a pressure that is a force and it is being applied here and force per unit area this is being deflected outwards or inwards and we are having a linkage here gear pinion arrangements and accordingly whenever this particular portion here the force thrust applies it will be deflected outward directions right and when this will be reflected outward this particular rack and pinion moves and our particular pointer will be moved here and there and accordingly whatever physical quantity that is a pressure 
we were going to measure it it is detected inside the pointer fine so this is the one one particular sensor that is a primary sensor if this particular thing this particular particular portion this portion is being connected to a core okay and this is being measured in the voltage level which is called lvdt we are having a primary winding we are having a secondary winding and here we are having a core so this particular combination is called as a primary secondary combination and primary secondary combination how it would be as i discussed with you that whenever pressure is being applied then output should be my example i which i have taken earlier i will ask to you that pressure output should be motion side of it now i have given you the example of this that how this particular physical quantity being measured into the electrical side whenever pressure is being applied here deflection would be in this side deflection here in this side will give me that lever is already linkage with my core there will be motion of this core either on this direction it will go up if it will go in this direction it will go down so when this core is moving up and down there will be a change of induction as we all know that in the transformer which we are called as a linear variable differential transformer that having a principle of mutual induction only when this movement of core changes secondary voltage due to the mutual induction side of it detects the change of emf and inside this a voltage will detect me the change of emf in term of voltage right whenever the voltage is being measured that is detected by the voltmeter and hence we will take it as our physical quantity which is earlier is pressure is being converted into the analogous electrical quantity that is called a voltage hence friends the block diagram being justified how physical parameter being detected by a c type boden tube that is pressure is there physical and it is being detected by a c type boden tube and there will be lvdt that is converts the value of variables and after that manipulation variable we are having a linkage of mechanical linkage as well as mutual induction in our scanty side and data presentation either pointer or our are having a seven segment so this block diagram is being justified in in this example and hence whenever in any thing is happening in this universe it is being detected by this block diagram only then we have to say this every transducer is sensor but but it is not mandatory that every sensor is transducer okay in next lecture or next video i will going to discuss you that how this is being justified